Solution Q is a new startup within Comcast to focus on connecting physical devices back to the digital world. And our first entrance into the market is a new class of technologies called low powered wide area networks. And maybe it's not the most exciting name, but it's a great technology to enable smart city applications. It's a perfect fit when you have only to send a small byte of data, you need to send it a very long range and do it very efficiently, both from a monetary standpoint and from a battery perspective. So it fits in nicely as a complement to cellular and other short range technologies like Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and Zigbee. And over the last few years, this market's really blossomed and we're seeing lots of innovations built on top of the technology, whether it's street lighting, water management, utility metering, a whole host of new applications coming onto the market every day. Laura suits a great need that's not being met either by cellular technologies because they're too expensive or battery hungry or short range communications where you can only be within a building or within range of a hotspot. Laura allows you to get across the entire city, get deep into structures because it operates at a frequency that's very good to propagate solid materials and get underground and deep inside buildings. And, and the other core component, it's, it's a very economical um, solution. The core technology, the chip itself, is, is, is $7 today going down to a few dollars over time, and it operates an unlicensed spectrum. So for us as a network operator at Comcast, we didn't have to acquire billions of dollars of spectrum from the FCC to deploy the technology. So we, we don't have to amortize those costs to the end user, meaning it's very cost effective against cellular, for instance. The first killer app for Allura technology has been metering, where you need to deploy something in someone's house and have that last for a decade, 15 years, even 20 years. Uh, Allura is efficient enough to allow that device to run off a very small battery for a long time and do that very economically. So metering has been kind of the best success story of Allura, and across the world there's millions of utility meter deployments on Allura, so that's kind of a square, you know, first step for it. The other areas we think that will, will be very attractive to cities are in street light management, trash management, how full is my dumpster, my trash can, um, water main management, detect leaks before they become water main breaks, what's my usage, what's my water quality, and, and honestly it's, it's every day we see a new technology being developed. We even have a connected mouse trap that lets you know when a mouse is caught. So if you're trying to avoid, do pest control on a city scale, this could be some, a way to do it very efficiently. We think that the cost efficiency of LoRa is going to allow cities to connect more and more of their devices and hardware more efficiently and, and do that faster than they would with current technologies. Of uh, uh, you know, major studies from Gartner, um, Ericsson, Machina, they're projecting 20 billion devices today connected, and by 2020, 50 billion devices. And we think our technology is going to enable a, a large swath of that that, that number to, to be achieved over the next few years. The other, the other side of it is LoRa is very easy for a technologist or a startup to integrate in their products. And we think that that'll allow more people to become part of the smart city movement and IoT and not just have big companies but develop very complicated solutions. Hopefully it'll help democratize um, people to move faster and address solutions in their, in their own cities.